But, but tell us about the magic trick or the disappearing magic trick, if you will, of TikTok and, and why you've made that decision and what do you think it portends uh, more broadly? Well, I made that decision in reference to TikTok on our uh, state uh, platform uh, to make sure that uh, the data of our citizens is not compromised, that we can protect uh, our platform. Uh, we have intelligence information from the FBI, other intelligence agencies concerned about TikTok and its security. And it really illustrates uh, the challenge that whenever you have a centralized, controlled uh, government uh, that can step in in China and direct businesses or seize data, uh, then that uh, compromises the uh, security of a platform like TikTok. And so, absolutely, we wanted it off of our state network. Uh, we right. wanted to make sure it was secure. Private citizens' decisions are different, but that's a government decision that we made. What, what was the information, though, that you saw that led you to that? Well, the fact that the data is stored, and even if it's stored in a cloud and they have security arrangements around that, it is the fact that uh, China, as they've done in other instances, could interfere or intervene in a business and say, we want that data. Well, obviously, we do not want uh, the communist Chinese government to have access to uh, the state uh, data platform th and have it compromised through an application like TikTok. And so that's the basis for the decision. And we understand that the risk is minimal, and I don't expect our state employees to be uh, utilizing uh, TikTok on a regular basis. Uh, but the fact is, it was an important step to take that uh, to make sure right. that uh, we're not compromising uh, the state data and its security. Well, that, that leads to the next question. You talked about state workers and, and just the broader citizens of Arkansas and the rest of the U.S. What do you think should happen to TikTok? Well, I think you have to be careful, first of all. Anytime a government uh, would ban or take restrictive actions against business, you better make sure you're clear on this and that the intelligence uh, requires that. And so I think it's appropriate for uh, the intelligence community to warn citizens about concerns over security. Uh, I think we need to continue to look at this. I know that TikTok will want to uh, uh, satisfy the security concerns of the United States. So let's see where that develops. But if I was a parent, I would not want my children on TikTok. Uh, I do, am a parent, uh, but they're grown. But I think you, there's legitimate concerns about, uh, you know, what's going to happen to that data. Now, if there are dance moves and, and things that are harmless, that's one thing. But you've got to be careful about the potential for access to data in a greater extent. And so that's the concern for the future.